Well, hello everyone. This is some tips and tricks for iMovie for iPhone. Let's get started. Just open up iMovie here. And we are going to go with our first tip, which is quite simple. Instead of making one 10 minute clip, try and go break it up basically into two five minute clips or five two minute clips or three three minute clips that type of thing this way it'll be easier to shorten and lengthen the clips in iPhone after all it is a phone screen and you're not a little Lilliputian so ideally we'd see iMovie or iPad soon enough but let's get started start with a new project I'm going to start first of all with no theme and to do no theme you simply hit done without touching any of them now earlier I took some a couple of clips here I'm going to start off with this one and then I'm going to go ahead and add this one now you'll see that it automatically puts in a transition. Pretty cool, huh? So, now obviously there's not much transition there to work with. So, let's get out of this project and we'll start a new one. We'll hit done, but this time we will import a photo. Why do I want to import a photo? Well, I'm going to create a transition, a custom transition. Now, photos themselves, you cannot add text. And the difference, the other difference between photo and video is that you can make a photo last as long as you want. Video clips, you can shorten, but you cannot lengthen in iMovie for iPhone. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll make this one six seconds. At the top of the, of the screen there is the time. We'll make it six seconds. This here is the Ken Burns effect where you can move things around. I'm not going to bother with that. You hit start, you move it, and But in this case, all I'm doing is creating a black transition. Well, how do you do that? with a picture. Well I've made my picture uh, last six seconds in duration. That's how long it would last on the screen. I'm just going to hit done and now I have a six second picture which is nothing until I export it. I'm going to export my six second picture now as a six second video. Oh, why don't you just take six seconds of video? Again, what if you want to make it longer? So it's easier to modify a photo. All right, so now I have my transition. I'm going to go back to my original project. I've decided I want to add that transition there. And I'm going to import video. Six seconds of just plain old black. And now, I'm going to double tap, I'm going to add a title, I'm going to go ahead with opening, middle makes it small, as well as ending, just a tiny bit larger, but I'm going to go ahead with opening, I'm going to tap on that area, and I'm going to type in a little transition, 8260, done. And you know what? That's kind of cool. Let's see, right? That was the limbo phone for about 10 days. Alright, now we're introducing the Nokia 8260. The second tip I'd like to point out. Alright, so you know what? That's kind of cool. So let me go ahead and do that to the beginning as well. I'm going to bring in my six second video. And I'm going to add a title. Opening title again. 
L2. Let's go ahead and call it Motorola L2. Done. Let's go back to the beginning here and check it out. So again, Hello, everyone. having a longer clip means I can shorten it. Say I want to make it three seconds. Let's check that out. And it'll, Hello, it'll add the fades for you automatically. Now we see here we have, we have audio, but there's really no activity on screen until about this point here. So unfortunately it doesn't tell us the time, but we do know it's about five or six phones down the line. So we're going to just single tap, grab the yellow marker, and shorten up the beginning of the frame. You can see the time getting smaller and smaller for the clip. Let's check it out. Instead of the microphone on the phone. So here we have... Alright, that's not bad. Let's take another two seconds off. Let's check it out. On the phone. So here we have... Alright, that's kind of neat. But let's go ahead and add a theme. We'll stick with the modern, the dark theme. And let's do that again. And add some music. Let's check it out. Alright. Well, the music doesn't really fit, so... We're going to mess with the audio, change the theme music, go with news. Let's check it out. On the phone. So here we have a Motorola L2. This is my limbo phone. The program will automatically adjust the two audio levels so you can hear. Alright, so that's kind of neat. Let's go to the end here. We'll add some credits at the end here with our six second video title style we'll go with ending click on that and we'll just hit thanks so that's it iMovie for iPhone let's check it out alright you're welcome one final tip is the microphone is down here on the phone so if you're holding it out at arm's length you'll either have to become a loud talker or be in a very quiet area so how do I overcome that well you have the option with your headphones that came with your phone that's the microphone right there. You plug it in to the iPhone and it will override this microphone here. So you can hold this anywhere and you will come in just as clear as if you were holding the phone next to your face because the microphone is next to your face. So enjoy and see you soon.